Hello, welcome to Sunfire Designs. I'm back, yay! I'm so excited to be here and so excited to be crafting with you again. I broke my hand, in case you're not aware. I had surgery, I had three pins put in it and I'm in physical therapy now, so I'm not 100%. My videos will be a little further apart, but I am here. So today I'm gonna to be doing um, uh, something different. I'm gonna be using this template from Pour Away Fluid Arts. Um, it is 3D printed and it's very fine. And what you do is you resin it to a piece of acrylic that is a clear acrylic. It just has um, a film on it. So you resin it onto there and then you can pour things in it, etc. cetera. Um, this set I bought has three different um, forms of this. It's kind of like the phases of the moon. So the full moon and then the two on the side. You can also order um, a set of five that has two of each of the smaller ones and then the one large one. So I'm starting with the small one because I want to see if I can do it and if I do a good job on it before I tackle the large one. So um, it's really, really cool. I found these when I was out and could not do any crafting with my broken hand. So I'm super excited to give it a try. I will put a link in the description. All right, so I'm gonna be using Angelina film. And um, I got four different colors. I got watermelon pink, which is kind of pinky, orangey. And then I got um, raspberry power which is that one. And then I got Aurora Borealis, which I had some of that already. And it's very similar to the Opal Fire. So um, they're very cool and I'm gonna use those. What you do first is you take a heat gun. Um, for me, I'm gonna do that. You can use them plain, but I'm gonna take a heat gun and I'm gonna kinda heat them up so they get crinkly. Um, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the template and I'm gonna use a very fine Sharpie marker and I am going to trace the little flame looking parts so I can cut them out. You can see I did one, a little one on the side as a trial before I started recording. Um, I'm gonna use the four different colors of the Angelina film. You can fuse them together if you lay them on top of each other and use the heat gun, you can fuse them together, but um, <clears throat> I chose not to do that. So I'm gonna take and lay it on top of the Angelina film and then I'm going to trace it using the fine black Sharpie. I did try to use a regular pen, but it did not work. So um, once I did that, you can see on there, well, you could see a second ago on there and um, I'm gonna go ahead and cut it out. You wanna cut exactly on the lines so that it fits correctly. If you cut like outside of the lines, it'll be just a little bit too big. And I, I am having issues with my hand. It takes me a minute to cut these out. I cannot close my hand and make a fist. I am in physical therapy three days a week, so my recordings are gonna come a little further apart. I'm not gonna have as many of them um, until I can get my hand back um, to a functioning better. So I cut that one out, it fit perfect. Yay, I'm so excited. I'm gonna cut them all out and I'm gonna lay them along the side so I know what order to put them in. All right, so what I've done here is I have peeled the layer off of the acrylic and you're going to resin the template down to the acrylic. I left the layer, the paper on the back of it because I didn't want anything to happen to it until I was ready. So I'm gonna take some resin. I'm using Estoyo resin, it's one-to-one -one resin, and I'm pouring some of it on top of um, this coaster. I actually flipped the coaster over um, so I can dip the template in it. You can also pour resin on the acrylic and kind of use a gloved finger to spread it around. But I wasn't sure at this point what I wanted to do with the spaces in between. So I didn't want there to be a lot of resin um, on, the, on the acrylic that if in case I wanted to leave it clear or something, okay. So I'm dipping it in the resin going all the way around just making sure I've got some on there so that it, I don't have any gaps when I put it on there. And it doesn't take too long, and I think I got it all. Now I'm gonna lay it on top of the acrylic, make sure it's lined up correctly, 
and then I'm going to adjust it if I need to and then kind of just press it down to make sure that I don't have any parts that are not making full contact. I want to make sure that it's so if I pour resin into it, it doesn't flow underneath the template. And then um, I leave that overnight to cure. So I'm going to do that. And then the next day I'm going to come back here and I'm going to put in the little pieces of Angelina film. I'm going to take some more of the Estoyo resin. I'm putting it in this little cup, just a little bit of it to make it easier to pour. I can kind of pinch it off and I'm going to pour a little bit of resin into each of these flame looking things. I think they look like flames at least. So into each of these little flame spots, I'm gonna put some resin. I want just enough to cover the bottom, but not so much that the film is gonna float on it. Um, I wanna be able to remove any bubbles. I'm gonna take a little silicone tool and I'm gonna spread it out so that it is even. And if I need to pour a little bit more in, I can. So um, I'm gonna do that for all of these. I'm only gonna show you the first few uh, so that you don't have to watch this whole thing. I did fast forward this video and I decided to do a voiceover because the video was an hour long and I cut it down by to a third of that. So hopefully, you know, that's okay with you. Always feel free to fast forward. So I'm gonna get a pair of tweezers and I'm going to pick up one of the pieces of the um, of the Angelina film and I'm gonna place it in the spot that it goes in and I'm gonna take a fresh silicone tool to kind of press it in place, make sure there aren't any bubbles and that it fits correctly. I, um, I don't wanna use the same one I had used because it'll pick up the top, it'll get on the top of it and it might pick it up and remove it. So I'm gonna use one that has not been in the resin yet and then tap it down and then once i'm done with that one i'm going to go ahead and move on to the next one at some point i'm going to do the outside edge and i am going to use this um, color change glitter by recollections collection from michaels and so i'll be doing that in just a few minutes so i'm going to go around and i'm going to add all the little pieces in there tap them down and um, make sure i go through and I went through and did a few of these like this where I did one and then put the resin in, then put one in, put the resin in. And then after a minute I go and I put the resin in all of them and then go back and put in the Angelina film. So I think it works well that way. It's not like uh, it's going to take you too long or that it's going to cure or get too stiff while you're doing that because it's really thin layer it's not super thick plus you have all your pieces that are already pre-cut up and ready to go so um, i do think that um, in the spaces in between the flames i am going to be using a dark blue with a little bit of glitter in it to make it kind of look like the um, the night sky and i think that that will really help to bring out the the shimmer of the angelina film and i think it's going to look super cool so I'm ready to, gonna ready to do that in a little bit. Um, first, I'm gonna finish this part here. And um, this is just a little bit of a time lapse of me finishing the rest of that up. Um, you get to listen to my voice instead of music, sorry. Um, so I'm just gonna put all these in real fast. Um, and then once I'm done with that, I'm going to come and mix up the glitter that I want to put. There's like a, a fine outline around the outside edge. And so I'm going to take the glitter, mix it up with some of the resin, and I'm going to pour that around the outside edge of it. Um, I put it in a paper cup because I could pinch it off, but I did find that it's kind of hard to pour it that way. Um, you don't want it to come out too fast. It is a really thin area and the, the template is not super tall. So you can't put a lot of resin in there. So I put some in there and I took and I used the tool to kind of even it out. Um, and I did that for a little bit. And then um, I remembered from watching 
on the pour away fluids and I spilled a little bit there I, I said a bad word <laughs> so um, from the pour away fluids that I did go um, and use a stick they used a popsicle stick to kind of fill things in and actually that did make it a little bit easier I didn't think it was going to work but it did so I'm really happy about that and so I'm going to go around and fill in the rest of it at some point here in a second it is going to go time lapse hopefully um, but if it does not just so you're aware you can fast forward at any time that way you don't have to sit here and watch me try to fill this up i'm gonna put in my battery so i excuse it if it makes a sound here nope it didn't oh it did make a little sound all right yeah my phone back low from recording and editing and everything like that so sorry about that I do not like doing voiceovers because I feel like I have to talk the whole time until it um, goes to the next part and it's hard for me to kind of remember where I'm at but um, I'm just gonna kind of let you watch this I was poking down the little pieces of glitter so they would not stick up um, and it didn't take quite as long once I got the popsicle stick and started using that instead of trying to pour it in. It worked out a lot better, especially um, I noticed on the videos on their YouTube that they used them for smaller areas, that that worked out really well. And so I think that was a really good idea. You should definitely check out their YouTube channel. Um, they've got a bunch of really cool videos there in um, the UK, I believe, and the shipping to the US doesn't take that long. And I, I think the shipping cost was only like $10. So it wasn't unreasonable and everything came nicely boxed so it didn't bend the um, template. So I'm getting there, I'm almost done. All right, I decided to stop. Now I'm gonna do the, ba <laughs> the background. I'm gonna be using this, this is, Oh, uh, I just missed it. It's color something, and I will put that in the description. I can't remember which one it is, but I'm gonna use that. It's a navy blue, and I'm going to use some of the paste, and oh, it's I think it's color passion. Um, anyway, I'll put it in the description. I'm gonna use a, just a little bit of the paste on there. It is, it comes out more of like a, a not a navy necessarily, but it comes out more of like a, a dark royal I guess but um, and maybe that is navy I don't know to me navy should be darker so I'm gonna stir this up a little bit and then I am going to add some black it's the HTV R-O-N-T black pigment paste and I will put links for all of this in the description and I just put one drop in there to kind of mix it up and get it to be dark enough I did go back in and I added another like half drop of the black using a toothpick to kind of make sure that it was dark enough. Um, I kind of, I liked how dark it was. I just wanted it just a little bit darker. So um, I go back and do that here in a sec. And then um, I am going to add some glitter. So it is holographic glitter. Hold on, let me wait till it gets to that part. Yeah, see here is me adding another little piece on the toothpick, just a little bit, and then I will um, add it to, the, I will put it on the stick and then stir it up. Make sure you stir it up really well so you don't have any streaks. I hate it when I don't stir it up well enough and I end up with little streakies, but um, once I've got that all stirred up, I am going to add some holographic glitter, very fine glitter. And I'm not going to add a lot. Um, I probably added more than I should have. You can barely see it when I hold my stick up. I don't, you can kind of see a little bit there. Um, but it's all the glitter is going to sink to the bottom. So you want to make sure you keep that in mind. I am going to pour this over the flames and into the spaces in between. If by using a dark background, the um, Angelina film will show up a lot better. It'll really show the reflections. It's kind of like when you use chameleon powder, um, it looks a lot 
uh, more vibrant when you use a dark background. It's kind of the same thing. So I'm just gonna fill it all in. The only place I'm not putting the black is on the outside edge where I put the glitter, um, the color change glitter. So this takes just a minute to pour it all in and then kind of make sure it's even. I know at one point I took a, a popsicle stick and I evened it out because it was a little too full up at the top and I didn't want it to overflow. I don't think it would have, but um, I just wanted to bring some of the extra over. And then I just kind of poured it all around, made sure everything was even. I think I only had one little piece that was sticking up a little more than I had hoped for. So I was pretty proud of that. It likely shifted when it was curing after I put in the Angelina film. So anyway, gonna keep doing that. It is not gonna be as dark on the spots where the Angelina film is because it's more shallow because there's already resin and the film at the bottom. There's not enough space at the top to make it as dark and thick as the rest of it. But that's okay, it works out perfectly. So we're gonna keep doing this for a minute. Not sure when I'll be done. It shouldn't take too much longer. Just filling it all in, making sure that I get it in every little spot. Um, there's like little corners on everything. All the flames have points. So I wanna make sure that I fill those out and that it, the resin gets into every nook and cranny. Almost done here. All right, so I think I just went back and I poured it in some of the spots where it was a little low and just kind of made sure that I evened everything out and that I used um, a toothpick or a skewer and filled out the corners. So now it's time to flip it over and see what it looks like. I'm gonna peel off the plastic on the other side and so that we can flip it over and have a big reveal. So ready, here we go. And look at that, I think it came out beautifully. It looks so much different when you look at it from outside in the outside light, but I love how it looks on the inside light. It's just beautiful. Um, I'm really, really happy with how it turned out. Um, you can really see the film, it stands out a lot. Depending on what angle you hold it, it changes colors. Um, so I'm really, really pleased with it. And I like the copper color of the template and how that shows up with everything else. I think that's really cool. Um, but what do you think? Do you guys like it? I'd love to hear in the comments what your thoughts are. And hopefully um, this is something that you can use and maybe want to give it a try yourself. I really, really love it. And I can't wait to do more. I've ordered some more that are coming in, so we will see. Anyway, here's a picture of what it looks like outside. You will see it in the header also. And then here's another picture from inside. Thank you so much, bye.